problems on acceleration due to gravity g problem 1 calculate g on the surface of the moon and the given figures are mass of the moon is 7.4 into 10 to the power 22 kg and radius of the moon is 1740 kilometer which should be converted into meters 1.740 into 10 cube into 10 cube and we do have gravitational constant g is 6.7 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square kg minus 2 now we know the formula for g is g capital g that is gravitational constant into mass of the moon divided by radius of the moon whole square on substitution we get So this gives rise to 6.7 into 7.4 by 1.74 whole square into all the 10 to the power powers if we take it out 6 to 12 so this goes up so it becomes minus minus 12 so 22 minus 11 plus 11 plus 11 minus 12 it becomes minus 1 so this becomes 10 to the power minus 1 and this will be 16.3 so this is 1.63 meter per second square so the g on the moon is 1.63 meter per second square so when we compare g on the moon to g on the earth we come out with an amazing fact that if you see the ratio of g moon to g earth g moon is 1.63 and g earth is 9.8 so we get 1 by 6 it means that g moon acceleration due to gravity is 1 sixth of g earth because the mass and radius of the moon are smaller since it is depending on mass and radius of the moon they both are small and g moon is one sixth of this so this is the reason why we see when astronaut goes up to the planets or into the space his weight on the moon is one by sixth that of earth so this gives us a conclusion that astronaut weighs on moon one sixth that on earth what an observation by calculating g moon knowing g earth we understood that g moon is one sixth of g earth this gives a direct conclusion that why astronaut weighs less on the moon compared to earth and how less? 1 by 6 times. Because the weight is m into g. m is a constant. Only the g varies, so the weight varies. Man's mass is constant, but the weight varies because g varies. And problem 2. The Earth's gravitational force causes an acceleration of 5 meter per second square in a 1 kg mass somewhere in space. How much will the acceleration of 3 kg must be at the same place? So the mass has changed. So what will be the acceleration at the same place? 
If the place is deferred, then the acceleration will change. But it is at the same place. So, g does not depend on mass. We understand that the acceleration due to gravity does not depend on the mass of the object. Therefore, g is the same 5 meter per second square on 1 kg or 5 kg or 3 kg or whatever the mass is. g will be the same.